Hi and welcome to the lesson of real analysis and today we are going to discuss uh, modulus or absolute value and the uh, important topic triangular inequality. So if you can see here that the modulus function that is mod of x in this form it is written in this form it's the uh, notation for the, the absolute value that is written in the mod and this is actually equals to x when x is greater than or equals to zero and it's equals to negative x when x is less than zero. So uh, the function sometimes is also written as f of x equals to x when x is greater than or equals to zero and negative x when x is less than zero. So this actually is the modulus function. So the maximum of x and negative x in this, uh, it's also written in this form that mod of x equals maximum of x and negative x where maximum of this x and negative x denotes the greater of the two numbers x and negative x. So, and this is also represented by mod of x equals to square root of x. So it's very easy to verify if we have a number that is, let's say mod of three, and we write it as three is squared in the square root. So again, it's nine in the square root and we know that it's equals to three. So mod of three is also equals to a square, mod of x is also equals to a square root of x square. And uh, then we come to this topic that is triangular inequality. It's most used in the proofs of real analysis. So it's very important topic. So we have three postulates in triangular inequality. Number one is that mod of A plus B is less than equals to some of their individual mods. And then the second postulate is equal, uh, says that mod of A minus B is greater than equals to the mod of difference of their individual mods. And the third postulate is mod of AB equals mod of A times mod of B. So now we are going to prove these inequalities. So to prove, the first inequality, we uh, have to show that this thing here is less than equals to this thing. So we start our assumption by considering, or uh, we can say that uh, A is less than or equals to its mod. So we know that A is less than or equals to its mod. If for instance, we, we can take any number, if it's positive, then it's equals to, uh, the number mod of a, but if it's negative, for instance, if we have three, so this three is uh, obviously less than equals to the mod of three because this is positive, right? So we can see here that this uh, inequality holds. And again, this uh, b equals, uh, b is less than equals to mod of b. And then using this property, we can say that a plus b is less than or equals to mod of a plus mod of b because we add these numbers a and b and then similarly we add uh, this a and this b the right sides then we are going to get this inequality that is a plus b is less than equals to mod of a plus mod of b and then again if we add their negatives that is negative a plus negative b then it's also going to be less than equals to the mod of a plus mod of b so because negative a is also less than equals to mod of a and negative b is also less than equals to mod of b. All right, so this is, uh, then this negative comes outside and a plus b inside, that is uh, less than equals to mod of a plus mod of b. Then from this and this, we can imply that this and this, we can easily imply that a mod of a plus b because when uh, we have negative of a plus b less than equals to this thing and positive of a plus b less than equals to this thing then their mod can be written as this is less than equals to mod of a plus mod of b uh, because if we apply the mod we have a plus b and then we have negative a plus b so we can apply the mod and we can write a plus b inside because this uh, uh, this mod here shows that it's negative a plus b and positive a plus b as well. So this result is verified. Now we will embark on to the second uh, postulate that is a minus b is greater than or equals to the mod of their uh, uh, the mod of the differences of their individual mods. 
So again, we can start from A equals A minus B plus B. Then if we apply mod on both sides, because we have equality signs, so we can apply the mod on both sides. And this is mod A equals mod of A minus B plus B. And then we know that if the if we consider these as two numbers, two individual, individual numbers, so from this inequality, we can say that A minus B plus B whole mod is less than equals to A minus B mod plus mod of B. All right. So we have uh, mod of A is equals to uh, mod of, uh, it, it's mod, it's not the bracket, it's mod here. So mod of A minus B plus B, and then this is less than equals to the sum of their individual mods. And this is the bracket. So let me erase the bracket to avoid any misconception here. And then we have mod of A is less than equals to A minus B uh, plus B. So this is the result here. And then again, we can start from B equals B minus A plus A. Again, apply the mod on both sides. This implies that mod of B equals mod of B minus, uh, sorry, this is B minus A plus A. So B minus A plus A, which is again less than equals to B minus A plus mod of A. So this mod of B is less than equals to B minus A in the mod plus A in the mod, right? And now from this result here, this implies that if I shift this mod of B on the left side, so this implies that mod of A minus mod of B is less than equals to mod of A minus B. And we can box this result and we will use uh, this result below. So again, now from this result, this implies that mod of B minus mod of A is less than equals to uh, mod of B minus A. So we box these two results and then we have from here, from here we can deduce that now this B minus A in the mod. So this B minus A is actual equals to A minus B because we have the modulus sign. And so this in, this equality holds here. So B minus A will be equals to A minus B. For instance, three minus four in the mod equals four minus three because this is negative one mod. This is one mod, but this mod makes this positive. So one uh, mod equals to one mod, right? So in this way, we can see that this mod of B minus A is equals to A minus B. So here, we can deduce that mod of B minus mod of A is less than equals to mod of A minus B. Okay, so we can box this result here. And now we will move forward using this result here, this result and this result that A minus B in the mod is greater than equals to mod of A minus mod of B. So now, uh, we will use these two results to imply that this A minus B in the mod is greater than or equals to mod of A minus mod of B in the modulus. Because this mod of A minus mod of B and this is uh, mod of B minus mod of A. So we can write this thing as, for instance, we can write this thing as negative mod of A plus mod of B. Uh, sorry, not like this, but mod of B minus mod of A. So mod of B minus mod of A. Then again, these two, we can use and apply the mod like this and write a mod of A minus mod of B in the modulus. So this result is verified that mod of A minus B is greater than equals to mod of the difference of their mods. And then we have the third postulate that is 
uh, AB is equals mod of A mod of B. So this result can be proved easily. Now we have A greater than zero, greater than equals to zero and B greater than equals to zero. This implies that A, B is also greater than zero. So this further implies that mod of A, B equals A, B because this is positive. So mod of A, B is equals to A, B. Then we can write mod of A times mod of B. Okay, fine. Now, what if one of them is negative? Let's say this is one and this is two. If one of them is negative, for instance, A is greater than or equals to zero and B is less than or equals to zero, then mod of A, B is equal to negative A times B. And we can also write this as A times negative B that is equals to A mod of A and mod of b not equal uh, okay so this is equals to mod of a and mod of b because we are applying the mod here so a times minus b when i we apply mod on a and mod of mod on b so it becomes positive so this implies that mod a b is equals to mod of a and mod of b because whatever number we can take for A and B, if A is positive and B is positive, then again, this holds because this mod of A will be positive, mod of B will be positive, so it will be equal. And if one of them is negative, that is A times B negative, but this mod that is applied on whole will make it positive. And again, uh, here the mods are individually applied, so these will be again positive. So no matter we take negative or positives. So in this way, we can prove uh, this result. Now we'll take one more problem on inequalities There's, that is important. So we have to show that A plus B in the mod divided by one plus A plus B in the mod is less than equals to a in the mod over one plus a plus b in the mod one plus b in the mod so we have to show this result right now we know that the fact so the proof is here we know the fact that the triangular inequality holds we already proved this inequality that is mod of a plus b is less than equals to some of their individual mods. So if we add one on both sides, again, this inequality holds like this, okay? And now what we can do here is we can divide, so we, we can take the reciprocals and we know the property of the inequality is that if we reciprocal the number, the inequality changes. So it will be now this reciprocal will be greater than or equals to the, res uh, the reciprocal on the right hand side. So this implies that, this implies that negative one over one plus a plus b is less than or equals to negative one over one plus mod of a plus mod of b. Okay, so how we imply this result from this result? Now see, we know that this thing here is less than, uh, sorry, it's, uh, yes, this is less than this whole thing. Okay, and then this means that this number here in the denominator will be lesser than this number. So, which means that this is greater and one is divided by this greater number. So this whole number here will be lesser than this number. 
but when we apply the negative sign on both sides, then again, the inequality changes because we apply negatives on both sides. That, that's why this inequality changes. So we can write in this way. And then we have one minus one over one plus a plus b. So we again add one on both sides. It will be less than equals to one over one minus one over one plus mod of a plus mod of b. Okay, then this implies that a plus b, we take the LCM on both sides, so it implies a plus b or one plus a plus b is less than equals to mod of a plus mod of b or one plus mod of a plus mod of b. And then from here, this further implies that a plus b in the mod divided by one plus a plus b is less than equals to, now by mathematics we know that we can write this by splitting mod of a and mod of b in this manner. Okay. So now there is one important thing that one plus mod a plus mod b will be always greater than one plus mod a because greater than or equals to one plus mod a because if uh, a and b are two numbers and if uh, they are like zero, again, we can verify that one will be equals to one. And if they both are non-zero, and if they both are non-zero, then they might be negative or positive. Doesn't matter because mod is applied. So this mod will make it positive. Then obviously this side here will be greater than this side here. So again, this also implies that this is also greater than one plus mod B as well. Now we can replace these results here because this thing is, uh, lesser than this thing. Now we will use these results. If uh, this thing is greater than this thing and this thing greater than this thing, then if we take the reciprocals, the sign of inequality will be changed. So the sign of inequality is changed in both cases. the sign of inequality changes. And then we can just substitute this result easily. Now we can, if this, this thing here is greater than this thing, and uh, so we can replace in this equation, call it equation one. So we are going to replace this and this, okay, so these sides are greater. You can see that this is greater than or equals to this side is greater. So if uh, this thing, a okay, one over one plus mod of a plus mod of b is less than equals to one plus one over one plus mod of a, then we can use this in one, both of these results. So this implies that mod of A over one plus mod of A plus mod of B is less than equals to mod of A over one plus mod of A. So actually this is greater. So we can use this result instead of this because this side is greater, All right? So we can write here instead or we can write in this way that a plus b in the mod divided by one plus mod a plus mod b is less than equals to mod a or one plus mod a plus mod b plus mod b over one plus mod a plus mod b 
And this is again less than equals to mod A over one plus mod A plus mod B over one plus mod B. Because uh, this thing is less than this thing. So we can write, and this thing is less than this thing. So the, the sum of these numbers will be greater than the sum of these numbers. And these are again, greater than the, this element here. So we can uh, imply that this, this thing here, this, this element is less than this element here. So this implies that a plus b or one plus mod of a plus mod of b is less than equals to mod of a or one plus mod a plus mod of b or one plus mod b. So this is the proof of the theorem. So, uh, we, uh, and we know that this, uh, when X is less than equals to Y and Y is less than equals to Z, then we can actually write X is less than equals to Z. So this is trichot, uh, sorry, this is the, uh, this is the property of real numbers. So we use this property here in this case. So we say that this is X, this is Y and this is Z. So we can see this X is less than Y and Y is less than Z. Therefore, this X is less than equals to Z. All right, so in this way, we can prove these results. So hope you guys will understand this lesson and we'll come up with some more topics in the next video. That's all for the time being and thanks for watching the lesson.